Hello guys and welcome to another plan with me. This week we are planning for Monday the 4th of March through Sunday the 10th of March. I am going to be using the dinosaur kit from SPC which I love. I remember suggesting to her to do like a general dinosaur kit because I thought like a dinosaur kit would be fun but I don't like Jurassic Park so hadn't seen anything plain dinosaur absolutely love it we do have the tall box here and then i am going to be using the dinosaur bundle from my shop i also had for some reason i bought two of the doodle samplers so i just pulled stuff from both of those i had my two custom malties used a bunch of stuff from those and i am using autumn tie-dye with this kit it's gonna look so good I already know this is the dinosaur bundle in the shop and this is oh, the autumn tie-dye is so pretty but it comes with the two different dinosaur headers I used so many little thing icons scripts and that stuff it comes with the dino 2 overlays some dino washi as well as the dino 1 underlays now we are just gonna jump right on into it I am gonna get out my print depression SPC edit planner with my SPC print pression whatever inserts. I don't know all the words on okay. her. It's gonna be such a stark difference from this spread. Holy macaroni. Okay, let's take a look at all of our boxes. We have a tall box, so that's good. So we need seven, eight, nine, ten boxes. So eight nines so we're only gonna be able to use like one additional i do like the um okay well i definitely want to use this like shark looking one and the t-rex and the triceratops so I'll probably get rid of one two get rid of these three probably we'll see we shall see all right so how are you guys the time of filming this i'm stressed out i am going on vacation next week and i just feel stressed out basically but let's get into what happened the week we are filming for monday was the standard went to the post office got groceries got mcdonald's did laundry filmed this is the week we did start hello fresh but i'm gonna be honest with you guys i already canceled it i don't know what is wrong with me currently but i've been just getting like the ick about meat in general and like the way they package like the chicken from hello fresh they don't have like like when you buy chicken at the grocery store there's like that pad in the bottom of the carton that like sucks up any liquid and that's like not in the packaging of hello fresh and so it literally i don't want to talk about it anymore because it's going to make me want to throw up so gross so i had to simply cancel it um these days of the week are from my shop they are in font choice five unfoiled i was using font choice two for a while but i just like for the days of the week, I just much prefer this font for some reason. For some unknown reason. But yeah, I did that and then I filmed. I had a bunch to film. I had two Planet With Me's to film, I believe. Possibly, maybe one. I don't know. No, I only had one. I filmed a plan With Me. I don't think. I don't know. That was probably it. No, I also filmed a haul clip. Like the world's tiniest haul clip. Okay. The left side of this sheet is called Weekly Essentials in the Shop. It comes with some corner overlays as well as whole three whole protectors and then days of the week and font choice five. So yeah, did that. And then there was like all of these like weird coincidences that happened that morning regarding my mom and it felt spooky. Like first thing, mine was like the most minor. Basically, I was like going to McDonald's and I'm like, come on, mama, give me a good lid on my cup today. I am sick of getting the same one every single day. And um, I ended up getting my favorite lid and I'm like, yeah, thanks, mom. But then my sister sent me a message about how her girlfriend, Whitney, had like a coworker approach her because she had like tagged Haley and something on Facebook and they saw Haley's last name and like apparently him and his wife were friends with my mom and dad and then my sister was at work and she is a leasing consultant 
for like an apartment complex and one of her residents came in was talking to her and she's like by the way are you peggy's daughter and she was like yeah and she was like i just need to give you a hug so it's like all these weird 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 things so that happened um we got sonic that day apparently i have no recollection of that but apparently it happened and i was read that evening i feel like i read a lot this week but it, each time i read was only for like an hour or less it's 11 11 make a wish um, so let's see yeah i only like completed two books i was kind of feeling slumpy if i'm being honest I don't know why I just nothing was sounding good like I start and gave up I know what it is it's because I had started yellow face and I did not like it and then I DNF'd it and then um I after that was having a hard time finding anything interesting but then I ended up reading meet me by the lake I started meet me by the lake by Carly Fortune on Monday and then I read for a bit, and then me and Chris did watch some Dimension 20. Okay. Then Tuesday, classic. I literally woke up, worked, 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 watched YouTube. And then me and Chris did go to Cobble Bob's for lunch. And then I continued reading... I um, actually finished Meet Me at the Lake that day. So that was good. Finished Meet Me at the Lake. And then Chris and I then watched more D20 because that's like our thing we do together. And then Wednesday was Girls Day. Called my dad in the morning, of course. It's, I'm like so bad at like whenever Girls Day like on a different day of the week, I am so bad at telling my dad, which like obviously like i'm a whole ass grown i don't need to tell my dad but like he knows that i call him so then if i don't call him on wednesday he's like well first off he like makes sure that he's like up and like ready to chat so i feel like it's just kind of rude if i don't tell him a and b he like worries that something happened if i don't call him so i actually remembered to text him today and be like girls he's gonna be on friday because the life i'm living currently um jessica from j crew plans is coming to visit the yeehaw texas and so we're doing girls day on friday so she can be a part of the girls day because uh, i'm gonna have to zoom you guys in a bit more i feel like this lighting is just so bad no matter what i do it's just like not good for the foil it's like i need everything to be like raised awkwardly is this better at all no okay okay so yeah i talked to my dad and then i got to andrea's and we went to the domain because um Andrea needed something. I don't remember what. She needed to go. So, oh, she wanted to go to Aritzia. Nick needed to go to H&M and whatever. I was going to look at the van store. Didn't find anything I liked, simply. But, um. But, um. Anywho, we went to Sweet Green, which is my first time having it. And I will be honest, the salad that I got was not good. It was like a 4 out of 10. And, like, usually I just think I'm being dramatic, but Nick and I got the same one, and he gave it a 5 out of 10. Said that it wasn't very good, and that what he got last time was much better. So, I think that's just, like, the situation, is that, like, I got the complete wrong thing. So, kind of tragic, but the more, you know, I guess. But... Yeah, so we did that, and then we shopped around, and then, of course, we went to Half Price Books, and I did find some books I had been looking for, which was Book Lovers, but I got Book Lovers by Emily Henry, which was, like, a four- or five-star read for me that I just wanted on my bookshelf because I borrowed it from Andrea, and then um, they had The Inmate by Frida McFadden, which I recently gave four stars, and I wanted it again for my trophy shelf. 
pterodactyls used to be my favorite type of shark or not shark of dinosaur growing up so when i was in the second grade we had to, we all got like assigned a dinosaur that we had to do a project on and that's what i was assigned so it just like i had all these facts I don't have any of them in the more anymore about them but that was that so um yeah we went to the bookstore which was always fun we love doing that and then um we got back we filmed a favorites video for the bg girlies youtube channel make sure you check it out if you want any gaming suggestions or just some like background noise honestly very fun and then we got home and Andre was making pancakes and bacon for the kids for dinner, but then she accidentally made way too much. So we all just kind of ended up having pancakes for dinner. AKA, she's like, you want some pancakes? Like I made way too many and I ate three pancakes and a piece of bacon and then I was just simply not hungry for dinner. And then, oh my God, the kids got home from school and like I hadn't seen them in a few weeks. So like obviously miss them, love them. They're like pretty much just my nieces and nephews at this point in time. But, um, Theo walked in. First off, Lila is, like, starting to say my name, and it's so cute. I, like, didn't understand what she was saying because, like, I'm not that smart. But she was, like, sitting in her chair, and she kept looking at me and, like, saying something. And Andre's like, I think she's saying hi, Hannah. And she's like, yes. I was like, oh, hi, Lila. And then Theo walked in, and he was like, oh, I can't wait to play occasion with you later. So, of course... Andrea's like, he does not ask me to play that with him. Like, he only asks you to play Acacia. Oh my god, it's so funny, so cute, so fresh. I've decided I'm not cutting the alligator looking dinosaur, so that'll be coming in here. Just because it has like a more blue background, and I like like that difference, you know? So we're gonna use him, the T-Rex, and then the tall box and the sidebar. But yeah, so I played occasion with Theo, and then we had a girls' night game night. We played this like Sonic game that we got sent to us, which honestly was not very fun. But we think half the issues is that like the rule book was just like really, 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 really bad. We played that. We played um another. We played all new. We're two more new games. We played. Well, actually, we played Salidoscope, I think is what it was called, which was also sent to us, and it was pretty fun and cute. It felt like you were playing a phone game, but in person. I actually quite liked it. I would play it again. I enjoyed it. But then, like, we looked it up, and it's, like, a $40 game, and it's giving, like, not $40 energy, like, not $40 worth of fun. So we played that, and we played another game called Dish Em Out, which also felt like a phone game. They were by, like, the same company, and they literally feel like phone games, but, like in person but they were quite cool because they like don't involve any reading so like even if you can't if like a kid can't read they can still play it so that was that and then we we also tried playing scout which is just simply not a two-player game it's one of those games where like i think they market it as two-player to sell more but like it's not good with two people so like played it with five people and it was like fine it's still like not a favorite but like it's fine and then we also played dinosaur ironic dinosaur raw and right which is a very 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 fun roll and write game roll and draw almost it's, it's very fun i do suggest that one it's by pandasaurus games so we did that and then wednesday i woke up in the morning work work worked watched youtube chris had a doctor appointment that day um He's been dealing with ear infections over the last, like, month, reoccurring ear infections, and I had thought about this and then, like, thought, well, I'm not a doctor, but then his doctor brought it up that it is quite possibly allergy-related, because allergies have been very bad for everybody as of late, so they gave him, like, some sort of, like, shot and then prescription to combat the ear infections but he had a doctor's appointment and then since you know he was like really brave and went to the doctor he was like we deserve to get food so he got us like pretty sure mcdonald's if i'm not mistaken he brought that home and then i read this day is when i began reading the silent patient by alex micheletti's i believe is how you say it if i'm saying it wrong Give me the correct pronunciation so I don't sound like a ding dong in the future. But we did read, I started that this day. 
and then me and Chris did watch um, the good old Dimension 20. So that was that. And then Friday, um, I worked. I had to like print and organize orders this day. And oh my God. I had to pull foil. And I was just doing a lot of like real filming. A lot of stuff that involved like standing, like half bent over. And when I say my back was in excruciating pain, like I wanted to cry. It was so bad. When I finished, I was like, I literally can't be bothered to do anything but just lay in this bed with Icy Hot on me and veg out because my back is throbbing. So that's like precisely what I did. I just kind of laid in bed for a while after that, but I filmed like reels as well as I worked on my April kit lineup and I did print cut and foil everything needed for or not yeah yes April for that so I took care of the April kit lineup situation and then um watched YouTube and I continued reading the silent patient Got pretty far in that. Um, I almost finished it, basically. And then, um, uh, then me and Chris watched, um, I got to like 80% in the book. And then Chris came in and we started watching Dimension 20. So then I woke up the next morning and I woke up like kind of early at like 8 o'clock. So I was like, okay, I have less than an hour left in reading time to finish this book. So I'm just gonna finish it because I need to know what happens. And man, that last 20% kind of like, like the book was giving five star energy and then that last 20% brought it down to a four. It was not like my fave ever, but you know, I woke up and I read that. And then I started working and I was like, you know what? I need to get a McDonald's Diet Coke. I deserve it. So I drove all the way to the McDonald's for them to tell me that they don't have Diet Coke. And they were always really bothering me that it was working because um, she was like laughing at me. She was like, how can I help you? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, can I just get a large Diet Coke with no ice? And she's like, <laughs> we don't have any. <laughs> and I was just like, shut the fuck up, girl. Made me mad. So, I was annoyed. And then I came home, watched YouTube while I continued to work, played BGA pretty much all day. And then we had game night. What, what? We started out by playing our campaign, which is My City Roll and Build, which I won. I won almost all the games this week, which is epic. So I won that, and then we played Scout with all of us. And again, it's like fine. I do know that like people love that game. And like, I'm not in the camp of loving it. I will be quite honest with you. It's like just okay to me personally. But we played that and then we played for like our heavier game, Sidereal Confluence, which like, I feel like that game title is like, it sounds like it's a hard game. And so we played that, which was fun. I thought I did horrible, but like actually me and Nick tied for second. So that was pretty cool, Chris won. And then we played this like um, new to us hidden traitor type of game called Fangs that Tony brought to us. And it was actually really fun. I really enjoyed it. I won that as well. And that was pretty much our game night. We had queso and tres cake. It was just overall a blast. I'm just putting these headers down so it's like every other will be like the two different styles. You know? It's actually quite cute. So yeah, that was game night. And then Sunday, um, it was daylight savings. Ends, begins, I think ends i don't know it's the one where you spring ahead and lose an hour of sleep so we woke up and it was like 10 o'clock which i have not slept in that late in like a month 
So it was shocking. So I was like, whoa. So then I woke up, got out of bed, and did some shopping for Easter because me and Andrea are making each other Easter baskets. And like, I feel like she's the type of person where, I mean, obviously she will correct me if I am wrong, where I feel like from the way she seems or like when she speaks about it, like she will like pick things up here and there. I'm more like a let's just get it all right now type of person. So I went online and like ordered a bunch of stuff for her um, Easter basket. Okay, we're gonna put these vines on the Triceratop box. That actually looks so good. Obsessed, obsessed. I do have a pterodactyl box, so I'll put that on the pterodactyl page. That also looks so good. Oh my God, it's literally perfectly in between them all. I love it. Is this a Stegosaurus? We'll put it on whatever this guy is. I don't know what he even is, if I'm being honest with you. Um, this is like a little ocean dweller dude. I think it's actually the this one, but you know. The T-Rex will just have to go on here because I gotta use him. Oh my god, no. No. Oh my god. I cannot believe I just did that. How embarrassing. And then I think I'm just gonna use this one, which is like the little feetsies in the corners. And then we'll get rid of those other two. Okay, that's the base. We'll zoom in for the day by day. Okay, guys, can we just reflect on this? It's so good. I can't get the lights in a way in which it shows the art and the foil. Either it's one or the other, so it's what it is, I guess, you guys. We're going to do our five little things on Monday, top part portion, of course. As we always do. These are not colors I use very often, so I feel like it's always exciting to get to use like things you don't usually like reach for. I did not have a lot of stickers in my collection that matched these colors though, let me tell you. Okay, so for PO Drop, I am gonna be using the miniature, I like the mini envelope from the, um, mini icons sheet if you are ever looking for a full sheet of something feel free to request it down below or in the facebook group then i have a custom po drop in font choice 2 from my custom multi in autumn tie-dye and then for grocery shopping i've got the grocery cart icon from the mini icons sheet in autumn tie-dye and then i have a grocery script in font choice 2 in autumn tie-dye and then for McDonald's, we have got the fast food icon, which there is a full sheet of in the shop, as well as a custom McDonald's in Font Choice 2, Autumn Tie-Dye. For laundry, we've got the laundry basket icon in Autumn Tie-Dye from the mini icons sheet, as well as the laundry script in Font Choice 2 in Autumn Tie-Dye. Oh, it's just so good. I wish you guys could see it better. And then for filming, we've got the filming camera from the mini icons sheet and the film script in Font Choice 2. Oh. So good. And then down here. Oh, maybe this is better. Does this work? Can you still see this? Okay. So the first thing is we had that all of that weird stuff regarding Mother Peggy. So I'm gonna use one of these like rounded labels for that. And then we got um, Sonic. Apparently, I really don't remember this. It's so odd. Use this. And then we did big little things for reading in Dimension 20. Okay, so for the weird stuff regarding my mom, I do have the angel wings from SPC. I definitely 
not this lighting it's too glary and then I have a WTF script in font choice 2, an autumn tie-dye for Sonic. We've got the Sonic bag from SPC as well as the fast food script. This comes in the foil bundle and it is font choice 5, autumn tie-dye for reading. We do have the book stack from SPC as well as a read script in font choice 2, autumn tie-dye. And for dimension 20, I have a D20 from SPC as well as a dimension 20 custom in font choice 2, in autumn tie-dye. Okay, really boring top portion. We're literally gonna put in this and this. Wow, that's it. First thing is work. We're gonna use the retro um, desktop from SPC as well as a work script in font choice to autumn tie dye for YouTube binge. We have the YouTube laptop from SPC as well as a YouTube binge custom in font choice to an autumn tie dye. Then we will use this to mark me and Chris going to Cabo Babos. Then I will use a page flag to mark my reading. I did, did also on Sunday, I forgot to say what I was reading on Sunday. I started the Handmaid's Tale, not Handmaid's, The Housemaid's Secret. I'm liking it so far. I had heard that it like, I heard, I feel like I had heard a lot of stuff about it not being very good but it's rated almost exactly the same as the first one on goodreads and i'm enjoying it so i'm not gonna be a hater so for me and chris getting lunch i have the nacho chip from spc and a with chris script in font choice 2 and autumn tie-dye for reading we have got lottie with a stack of books from spc as well as a read script in font choice 2 autumn tie-dye and for dimension 20 i'm gonna use one of these like andrea with split dyed hair D, D stickers because i did not have a ton that matched this spread and another custom dimension 20 script Okay, the first thing we're going to mark here is talking with my dad on the telephone. Why did I say it like that? That was really weird. On the telephone. Uh -huh. This will be for us getting lunch. But that's not the color I should have used, but that's fine. And then we went to shop around the domain. And then went to Z Book Store. Chris is so loud and annoying. I swear to God. So for talking on the phone with my dad, I do have the phone icon as well as a with dad script in font choice two in autumn tie-dye. We're getting food with Andrea and Nick. We have the food bag from SPC as well as a with A and N script in font choice two in autumn tie-dye. For shopping, I have the shopping bag from SPC, or not from SPC, from the mini icons sheet as well as a custom with Andrea in font choice two in autumn tie-dye. And then I have Lottie with her stack of books from SPC and the shopping script from the foil bundle, which is in font choice six in autumn tie-dye. One second. Okay, called Chris, told him to be quiet. He's like screaming in there. Okay, so then we filmed for BG Girlies. Pop that in. We have pancakes. Yum. Me and Theodore played occasion. We ended up also having a Taylor Swift dance party, but his statement about vacation, I had to put that in, I had to put it in that way. And then had our game night. Okay, so for filming for BG Girlies, I do have this little camera icon from the mini icons sheet, as well as a BG Girlies custom in Font Choice 2 Autumn Tie-Dye. And then for having pancakes, I'm just gonna use the place setting icon. There is a full sheet of those in the shop, as well as a pancake script in Font Choice 2 Autumn Tie-Dye. Then I'm going to use this little boy script and then a custom occasion in Font Choice 2 Autumn Tie Dye. And then I have Lottie with her game board and a custom game night script in Font Choice 2 Autumn Tie Dye. Moving on to the second half. Again, this portion's not going to be like uber exciting. It's just going to be this box and this box. 
and it's gonna be like the same thing. We have got work, we got this laptop from SPC, as well as a work script in Font Choice 2 Autumn Tie Dye, and then a retro TV and a YouTube in script in Font Choice 2 Autumn Tie Dye. That is all, that's all that goes on up there. Then down here, I am gonna mark that Chris had a doctor's appointment, and we apparently had McDonald's. I read, and we watched Dimension 20. Pulling stickers up on foil is really risky business. So for Chris's appointment, I'm going to use the stethoscope from the mini icons sheet as well as an appointment script and that is going to be from the foil bundle. It's in font choice 4, autumn tie-dye. We have the fast food icon again. There's a full sheet of those in the shop. And then the takeout script from the foil bundle, that's font choice 6, autumn tie-dye. Then for reading, we got the book stack from SPC as well as a read script in font choice 2, autumn tie-dye. And then I found this orange that kind of matched, so I went with that. I don't remember the name of that shop. And then a Dimension 20 script in Font Choice 2, Autumn Tie-Dye. Next, I am going to grab this brown box here. And then we will be doing one of these. Put this in here for filming, and then this in here for my back being destroyed. So for work, I have this retro computer from SPC, as well as a work script in Fontres 2 Autumn Tie-Dye. For filming, we've got the camera icon, and then I miss, I messed up on telling Andre what scripts I needed, so I just had to pull a film script. Figured gold matched just fine with the Autumn Tie-Dye, because there's gold in it. For my back hurting, I have got this munchkin from Once More With Love with a W, T, F, and Font Choice 2. That's Font Choice 3, B, T, W. Next, I'm going to use this to mark um, YouTube binging. Binging a bit of YouTube. And then we'll grab a brown page flag for reading. Dude. And then a big little thing to mark D20. It's the last of the dark green ones. Okay, so for YouTube binge, we got the YouTube laptop from SPC, YouTube binge, Font Choice 2, Autumn Tie-Dye. For reading, we got the book stack from SPC, as well as a read script in Font Choice 3, Autumn Tie-Dye. And then for D20, we have got the Dimension, they got the D20 and then the Dimension 20 script. Marking here is that I um, read I finished Silent Patient this AM, and then I am going to mark work, and then I'm going to mark this whole WTF situation that happened at McDonald's. So for reading, I've got the book icon from the mini little things sheet. There is a full sheet of those in the shop. And then a read script in Font Choice 2, Autumn Tie-Dye. For working, we have got the laptop from SPC as well as a work script in Font Choice 2, Autumn Tie-Dye. And then for the McDonald's, I have the car icon from the mini icons sheet. And then I have a WTF I just pulled from my collection. It's technically in copper, but I figured it matched good enough. And that's Font Choice 9. And then, and then, and then, YouTube binge, I played on BGA, and then we had game night. Perfect. Okay, so for YouTube binge, I've got the YouTube laptop from SPC with the YouTube binge script. This one comes in the bundle, and it's in Font Choice 4. We've got the paw icon. Um, by the time you guys see this, those will probably be coming to the shop. They're coming in for Chris's birthday sale weekend and a custom BGA. And then for game night, we've got Lottie with her cards, and then a game night custom in Font Choice 2 Autumn Tie-Dye. On to Sunday, the first thing. Thing that we are gonna mark is that I slept in 
I did the bit of Easter shopping for Andrea's Easter basket, and I worked. Work, 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 work. Okay, so for sleeping in, I've got the bed icon from the mini icons sheet. We've got sleep in from the foil bundle, but it is in font choice three. For shopping for Easter, I have the shopping bag icon from the mini icons sheet, as well as an Easter custom in font choice two, autumn tie-dye. I packed up orders this day, so I used the box and the work script. And we need like the orangey color. Use that for watching YouTube. And then we will use brown for reading. And dimension 20. So for binge watching YouTube, we've got the YouTube laptop from SPC and then a binge watch script. This is from the foil bundle. It's in font choice five. For reading, we've got the stack of books from SPC as well as a read script, font choice two autumn tie-dye. And then the last thing, another D20 from SPC as well as a dimension 20 script and font choice two in autumn tie-dye. Now we will zoom out and look at the finished spread. Here we go, guys. This is the finished spread. You can see the foil in all of its glory. It looks so pretty. And then what do we have left over? Some little things, some boxes. I did finally do the giveaway of all of my kit leftovers to two people. I think it was Teresa and Christy, one over on Instagram. So make sure you're following me over on Instagram for whenever I inevitably do another leftovers giveaway. And that is everything, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, then, well, give it a thumbs down. Either way, you're helping out my channel. Comment down below, subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.